Hey, everybody. I am Angel with Alternative Health with Angel, and I'm so excited you're joining me here today. I just wanted you to see my face before we get started. So I'm going to share my screen now, and we are going to be talking about um, eco-friendly ways to clean your house for hormone balance. So we're going to get started now. Let me get this blown up here. Give me just two seconds. All right, so eco-friendly cleaning for hormone balance. I need you to note that I'm not a medical doctor nor a psychiatrist. The views of this workshop are, are my own, and I don't want you making any changes in your medications or supplements without speaking to your healthcare divide provider. And you need to know that the FDA has not approved any of these statements. And who am I? Well, I am Angel Hill. I have a more than a dozen years in alternative health, and I've served about 7,000 clients in that time. So although I say I work with women and hormones, I work with a lot of different categories of that because we all know it's we're all connected. It's not just one thing. Um, if you want to see all my degrees and certifications, you can look on LinkedIn for that. But the main thing you need to know that I'm a traditional naturopath, and I am a doctor of certified natural medicine. And I have an online program called Alternative Health with Angel. So we're going to talk about some endocrine disruptors. So what is that? Well, there are chemicals that have a specific category that have been shown to um, bother our endocrine system, which is our hormone system, right? And they even gave in these things some names, endocrine disrupting chemicals. They call them EDCs. Um, and there's about a thousand that fall into that category that we know for sure interfere with our hormones. So there's a lot of stuff out there coming out of us. So any way we can stop any of that is good. So if you can't implement everything I'm talking about, even if you can just implement one thing, it's really going to help to keep that toxic burden down on us. So unfortunately, we're born into a chemical soup. Um, we've looked at umbilical cords and found more than 200 chemicals in those umbilical cords. And these are healthy moms, as far as everyone knew. And then you may have heard about spermageddon. So like during the last 50 years, sperm levels among men in um, Western countries have basically been come to half. And they're thinking by 2025, there won't be any uh, viable sperm left. We'll have to do all pregnancy by IVF. So it's crazy that this is all happening and it's all because of this chemical soup that we've got going on mm -hmm. and so but how does it affect the hormones well it's been shown to affect it in two ways um, these um, endocrine disruptors can either increase or decrease certain hormone levels they can also mimic our hormones which our bodies will interpret as an increase or they can alter the natural production of hormones. I said two, I meant three. So there's all these different ways that they can get in and cause havoc on our body. Um, when And then when we get too many of these chemicals in our body, the liver gets overburdened. So our whole pathway that detoxes these bad chemicals gets stuck as well because they can't get rid of anything. And when this happens, everything gets recirculated, causing more inflammation and disrupting our hormones. For instance, say you go um, more than 24 hours without having a bowel movement. That stool literally sits there in our intestines, leaks out into our body, excess estrogen that we didn't want in it, um, all these toxins going back in again. So they've already gone through once. Now they're going back in and causing havoc again. So we have got to find ways to stop this. Um, so some of the things that you may be feeling that mean that you have some hormonal imbalance, um, really low energy. That's probably one of the number one things people come to me for, uh, bowel movement things. You're not going to the bathroom. Um, my definition of constipation is if you don't go within 24 hours <laughs> once a day, um, I prefer you to go about three a day or you can have diarrhea. Um, some people notice heartbeat changes, skin changes. You could have, um, it's darkened spots on the body or skin tags, which actually are sugar issues. And you may not see that in the um, blood work that your doctor runs because they're not running the right labs. They need to be running a fasting insulin. We can really see where you're going with your insulin resistance much quicker when we do that. And then some people actually get acne and things like that. This is not an exhaustive list. There are so many more things that can come along with these metabolic symptoms. Um, and here are some of them. So your change, any changes in your period, um, that's always an issue. Your periods are kind of like your um, fifth vital sign, right? We got to know these things. Um, vaginal dryness, loss of interest in sex, infertility, hot flashes, excessive hair. Not only are these hormonal imbalances, but they're hormonal imbalances that can be caused by things in our environment. 
Um, males get them too. It's not just females. So erectile dysfunction, their hair changes. Um, man boobs, we'll talk about man boobs. That is definitely a hormonal issue. That's too many bad estrogens getting into the body. Um, infertility, loss of interest in sex for males as well. And loss of muscle mass. We see that a lot because these um, toxins will pretend to be um, testosterone and get into those receptors. And then men won't have the, the right number of receptors in their body. So where do we find these toxins? Well, they're home and our cleaning supplies is what we're going to talk about today. And our detergent, if I can say one thing, though, synthetic fragrances are going to be the number one place. If you want to start, and the, the first place to start is look at everything that you do that has a synthetic fragrance in it. And the next time it's time to buy that product, you don't even have to go organic or clean, just get it without the synthetic fragrance, get it with fragrance free. That is going to help so much. And then if you have more money or more time, you can do those other things. But getting rid of those synthetic fragrances is the number one place for you to start. Um, in the kitchen, there's a ton of plastics in our kitchen. I am currently trying to get rid of all of those. As things go bad, I'm bringing it in with um, glass cookware, things like that. Um, shampoo, soaps, conditioners, dental products. I'm going to refer you down here to the Environmental Working Group at the bottom of the page here, ewg.org. They have great information on there on how to keep these toxins out of your body, including in cosmetics, water quality, air quality. They actually have an app that you can get that you can um, scan. It tells you green, yellow, red, whether your shampoo, your conditioner, your dental products are bringing toxins into your life. And these are products that you can get at the grocery store, at Walmart, Target, places like that. So I highly recommend using that. That's going to help you um, narrow down even further. But remember, the number one thing you want to try to do is get rid of those synthetic fragrances and anything that's in your house, particularly those things that are plugged in the wall. You do not want those. So the ingredients that you're going to need to clean your house without any synthetic <laughs> things are going to be baking soda, borax, Bronner soap, distilled white vinegar, by the way, white vinegar, distilled white vinegar is the only thing you should do with it is clean. You should never put it in your body. It's disgusting. Um, essential oils and salt, right? So my recipes I'm giving you, you do not have, um, I do not have any um, essential oils in them. Do add those as you like for the smells that you want. But what you need to keep in mind is you want good, clean essential oils too. So just be careful that you're not buying some really crazy cheap stuff off the internet because that could be um, just as detrimental for you. So think about, you know, um, Eden's Garden is a good one. Even now, if you're not ingesting it is a good one. So think about those. And when it comes to salt, um, so let me come back up here again. I, when I talk about using salt um, for cleaning, you can use the old cheap salt. That's fine. Um, but when I'm talking about putting salt in your body, I always like much better salt that's mineral rich. So things like real salt, Himalayan salt, Celtic sea salt, things like that. But when you're cleaning, you can go for the real cheap stuff. Okay. <laughs> So for the tub and tile cleaner, you're just going to get a mason jar and you're going to get some baking soda, some Bronner soap, some water, some vinegar, put it all in the jar and shake it up. I like to use an immersion blender. It gets it together so quickly for me. It doesn't clump as easy when I do that. You take a picture of this, use this the next time you clean it. So I'm going to tell you, this is what I put in first into my tubs. I put, I mix this up, I put it in. Now this particular um, recipe gives me two tubs worth. You may be able to stretch it. You may be able to make it less. I don't know. But for me, it's about two tubs worth. So this next recipe, I actually put on top of this and it's a scouring powder and it's just the baking soda, the borax and the salt. I put this in a mason jar as well. And this actually works for about at least four tub scrubs for me. So I just put a lid on it and save it after I use it. And I just sprinkle it on top and that gives it that grit. So you have the stuff in there to clean the tub, a little bit of the grit. And I just start sleeping with a scrub brush. And it's, I usually like to, I put it in there and I like to let it sit for maybe five, 10 minutes. And then I go scrub it again and rinse it off. And it's awesome. I haven't had any problems with this and I love it. And it doesn't really take me too long to make this stuff either, particularly since this scouring powder actually can be used for about at least four tub scrubs. Now the toilet bowl cleaner, I like to do this the very first thing I do um, because it needs to sit for about 15 minutes. So I'll go put this borax and the vinegar in both my toilets that are in my house. And then I go make my other cleaners while this is 
um, sitting. And then I go ahead and clean. So this is another one. Take a picture of this. Very simple, easy to use. You don't have to put those things that smell into your toilet bowl. It makes the water a different color. Those are artificial colors we don't want in our system either. Because think about the water that is here on this earth was around when the dinosaurs were around. So we're just recircling all these toxins. We don't want to do that. Um, I don't have the exact statistics on it, but you can actually look up how we're finding um, prescriptions in our water constantly that we're drinking because they've been in, you know, they've gone through the system and they're staying in with it. So toilet bowl cleaner, really easy way to do this. Um, this is an all-purpose cleaner if you just want to spray. Now, this is one people do like to add their essential oils to um, for sure. So uh, just add to, you know, start with one or two drops and go from there. You'll know what's good for you. But it's literally just water and vinegar. How easy. Just spray it on the tubs. I spray it on top of the toilet. Use a, um, a washcloth to clean it all off. And it's just phenomenal. It works great. So how can I help you balance your hormones besides trying to help you get rid of synthetic fragrances, which by the way, that is something I hope all people can do. I help you elevate your nutrition. I help you identify your mineral and hormonal deficiencies. A lot of people come to me and think that their deficiency is really in a sex hormone and maybe in their cortisol and their adrenals, or it may be in their insulin, or it may be in their thyroid. So I help determine exactly where it is. And we work on that as a whole body approach. I actually start from the... Um, adrenals, the cortisol, and I work my way up with a hormone hierarchy of the insulin, the thyroid, and the sex hormones. So we work on a whole body approach. Um, I have a membership you can get into. It's less than $7 a day. You get private coaching calls. Um, I use hair tissue mineral analysis that tells me what kind of where your minerals are out and what kind of heavy metals can be going on in your body. By the way, heavy metals can disrupt your hormones as well. They fill those receptors and cause problems, just like we talk about the other things. So this is, excuse me, actually included in this. Then we set up a framework for you. We're going to start working where you are and get you up there. So that's something to check out with me. Um, you can find me at alternativehealthwithangel.com. If you have any questions on what we talked about, feel free to um, get me there. You can find me on Facebook at, at all health angel or on LinkedIn. Um, and just keep in mind that these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. So thank y'all so much for joining me. And please let me know if you have any questions. And I hope you get to clean in in a great way.